yeah guys I've got this nice image in here or um, sunset image as a background so I'm just gonna unlock that quickly and then um, pull out that particular document and then use my move to from the top here drag it in right after dragging it in I can close this up I don't need it now no more so you can pick up my image and then use my show transform controls to probably make it very big but uh yeah make it big though but I want my sunset to be inside my Africa like this oh yeah and then I go for the enter key on the keyboard now right about now what do you do or what do we do you just have to go for a path selection tool ensure we have a path selected this and then use the shift key to select the other path now we have the two paths selected okay we have the two paths selected with the shift key using the what using the path selection tool just right click here and then go for it and then when you've done with that right click on your image ensure that you selected on the image you just brought in okay so this will be our main layer so we'll call it Africa map main then we can right click on our max and then go for create vector max oh yeah there we go we got this then we can go ahead and select just the white area here sorry about that alright guys so that is this but now we want to add some captions so we can say with the text to just go for you right and say the African map I'm gonna highlight that with the control A and then make it so big go in there to the text box that is to specify the size and then just use my scroll bar to increase it usually you can just type in there don't mind me okay oh you realize the text are intertwining oh let's just go for the window character palette should be popped up or character panel and then we remove the the text line spacing actually to auto mine because of my previous designs so that's why that happened I actually like the effect that was here mm, yeah let's do something like that as well so <coughs> just gonna go for the move to now move this back here I like the black thing that was there so how do we do that let's take this, take this away sorry go for my shape too and just go uh, yeah but this time around when you go for the shape to show I actually changed this to path earlier so let's go for the shape this time around okay it's black by it's wine by default so I'm gonna make it black yeah <coughs> like black okay so zoom out sorry okay and I'm gonna do something like this yes one okay yeah just one then I can call this shape one just one and then duplicate this control J with the control J when you select the layer and say two that is layer two and I can use the move two to bring that down okay and then G control J and call this what three and then I can bring this down now with the two, I'm gonna go for my show transform controls and then enlarge it this way. Oh yeah. Bring my text on top of it because my text is black is not showing, so I can just double click on that text. Color overlay gives red by default. That's pretty short for you. You go for white. Oh yeah, bam. Here we got it. We don't like the background, right? Do you? I don't. So I'll double click on the background double click on it again that is the empty space you see right here and I'm gonna go for gradient and then so I'll double click on this gradient and then change this to quite a gray or something you know yeah but I'm gonna make this sorry just gonna change this to red out something here yeah, red out and then swap the gradient let's swap the gradient yeah 
After swapping the ingredient, we can change the angle. Yes. Oops, this is cool. Then we can actually increase it more. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, basically, the motive behind this tutorial was to show you how you can use the vector max to create an African map. And of course, you can add your own style and effects. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, give it a, a comment, a share, and of course, you have to subscribe to get more. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Bye.